to do the oil change on these this is your battery right here so don't mess with that area but this right here is where your oil access is we're gonna pop that out and then from down here we need to have a drip pan we're gonna uncap it and this parking lot is tilted this way so whenever it hits that it's gonna go right down in the hole and then inside here i'm gonna touch it with this that's the bolt that bolt right there back there and you can see my hand <laughs> It's hard to get in there. So uh, once once you're getting ready to untwist that there, you wanna go down here to this little uh, black piece here. Let me see if I can line it up for you. See it? Yeah, right there. You're gonna put your finger underneath and you're gonna pop that cap up. Oh! And hide it over to the right. All right, so now you got a big old hole here. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now we just go over here. Now on the newer Onans, you're gonna hit the, you're not gonna hit the bolt itself. If we can see that. So I'm not gonna turn the bolt in the front. Shit, there you go. And I'm gonna reach over here and get the the, the wrench on that and turn it. All right, so reach on in there. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. Okay, so I couldn't get the wrench right on it on the back of the bolt here. So I actually tried to, and the reason why I'm not getting y'all you know, to turn this uh, front bolt off, because when you turn it, it turns the whole thing. And I've tried holding this one down and turning the bolt off and it just ain't working. So we're just gonna do this. Okay, let's see if that does it. Almost, almost. So you just keep loosening it up. Let's see if I can use this and get on it. There we go. I'm just using the back end of this now, or this time. So once it's loose enough that you can turn it with your fingers, get your fingers in there, and just start turning it like that. There we go. Yeah, I'm having to get in here in a weird angle. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, almost got it. get a shot of the inside as soon as I pull this out so then your oil just starts pouring out of there into the bottom and down into here that's it I mean that's after maybe two and a half weeks I think and this is the piece that came out so your bolts on there and that damn thing is on there so good I cannot seem to get it off of there I'm sure now that it's off I could put it in the clamp turn that off and then from that point forward that would come off and it would just pour out through that be a little further out but hell this comes off so easy and it's so much easier than putting that back on because i can actually get a hold of this and turn it back on so uh that's it you just let the oil drain out once it drains out this thing calls for uh, i think it's uh, 600 milliliters of 10w30 so what i like to do um i buy the the full quart and i i i go in here with the uh where the oil goes in and I put some in until this is running nice and clear. And then after it's running nice and clear, then I cap this back off and I put my oil back in on, on this position here. So this right here, we'll show you that in the next next step. We're gonna to remove that. We're gonna hook up our uh, tube to make sure we don't dump any in here. Although it's all in there anyways, but yeah, that's, that's gonna be the next step. Okay.